Daniel Smith, or you Gamblin also makes it. And it looks like this. And yes, it is bunny rabbits. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're the bunnies that have lived their whole life, and they've gotten old, and they've died, and, <laughs> and, and then they make the, the, the glue out of it. <laughs> Is that like collagen? I'm putting the torium. Is that like collagen? It's the Think about this way. I know it does too much information for me. Think of it this way. Horse, the inside of horses um, is a horse glue that is used to make um, guitars and violins. And it's, it's what it's what has always been used. Deer, deer skin, deer animal hide, animal hide, deer, rabbits, canoes, drums. It's what is the original glue. And so it is the base is an organic material that's not a synthetic material that um, has been used. So the rabbit skin glue, I will use it as, as a base. So for instance, I can use rabbit skin glue on a wood board and that can be my prime earth. Meaning I don't have to use gesso. I can take rabbit skin glue, and notice notice that black? Yeah. That was charcoal, but I had added water to it, and so now it's fixated, oh. and because it's fixated, it's not smearing. So there's a basis of one reason that I might just use rabbit skin glue by itself. Another thing about the rabbit skin glue is this particular piece, you can kind of see how it's a bit of a glaze in the light. Uh huh. That's just rabbit skin glue. So it can also, if you're just using organic materials by itself, you can just use rabbit skin glue and, and seal it. And I can do anything on top of this. If I start adding oil, any oil-based materials, you can't use the rabbit skin glue anymore. It will only go on collage, paper, wood. If you are using a Oil National spray. Geographic that's filled with chemicals on the paper, it's going to slide off. Hmm. Okay. I have, I have used it with some collage materials, and it works like a bad hair day, meaning it, it curls up and then it does settle down. So it can be used, but the, the more purer the paper, the better. See this thin paper? Yeah. You can almost collage with this paper with water, but you know, it's a great. It's pattern paper. I mean, I, I just, there's a nice juxtaposition when you're looking for something that you might want to do. And so, any questions on this rabbit skin glue by itself? Because How did you do, do the basically, I sewed one part, and it's on the box, one part keeps going, rabbit skin glue, and nine parts water. And then you heat it. That lasts a long time. Well, you can put it in the refrigerator. If you leave it out, it. <laughs> I once went away and we had a heat wave and I, ha I shared my studio with someone and I came back and they said something died in the studio oh. and I can't find it. Oh. Oh. So it turns into jello. You can store it in the refrigerator, but once you start, see, you don't want it to boil. It will lose its elasticity, but you want to have it so it's like at 125. You know, you want it just warm enough yeah. and I can use this for a little while and I'm going to get ready to um, make gesso with it but this is how I use it by itself I wanted to show you so I'm going to have some rabbit skin glue that will be on a pot by itself and then some gesso going and so there'll be two things and I'm going to and then I have another pot and I'll make some more so I'll show you how I use um, how I make the gesso okay thank you